Welcome to a tutorial on how to plant trailing perennials into a rock wall. Now, as you can see, I have a rock wall right here, and it's already built. So a lot of the tutorials that I looked on when I was first searching this was how to plant uh, trailing perennials into a rock wall as you're building the rock wall. So I was a little bit frustrated, and I'm very excited to be able to share with you something uh, that I've learned basically through trial and error now on how to plant into an already existing wall. Now, it is very difficult sometimes for me to find a, like the perfect place where I want to put this, uh, put my plants because rock walls are, um, they vary by nature. And so uh, even within this one rock wall that I have, there is, um, uh, places where there are uh, crevasses that I can use and maybe it's not in the spot that I want um, and then there's places where there is a spot that I want that doesn't have a crevasse that I can use and so rather than take apart the whole rock wall I just kind of got to go and pick the best of what I can find and so I'm very excited there's a very natural kind of crevasse right here on the end of my rock wall because this is exactly where I want to put my lithodora so I'm very excited that this is uh, a spot in the rock wall that already has a crevasse and so let me show you I have with me a, a pot and it's got a bunch of dirt already in it and it's not super nice dirt but it is what it is and if it's going to be a rock wall type of plant you can't really use or choose a plant that's going to need really rich soil because the nature of a rock wall is just going to be uh, the soil that's there is what it's going to get or maybe the soil behind it uh, and it's it's lower down it's not topsoil it's not going to be the best and so usually rock wall plants are going to be very hardy and they're going to be more on the herbaceous side they're going to be better for um, sandier soils not as nutrient dense soils so anyway so I've got my my little trowel here and I'm gonna scoop up the dirt and I'm just gonna kind of shove it in, <laughs> into the hole so I'm trying to create a planting medium for when I put this this plant in it'll have something for the roots to grab onto uh, rather than just what it's using right now and so a lot of it is going to disappear and I just got to kind of keep putting dirt in until until I feel like it's building up enough for my plant and so uh, I want to I want to put the plant in so that the natural trailing habit of it is in the direction I want it to go so this is this would be upside down see how it's it's kind of flopping this is the underside it's kind of already in the pot been trailing this way and so I want to stick it in the hole that way and I'm gonna just kind of muss up these just a little bit I don't think we really need to muss up the the root systems as much as maybe we've been led to believe sometimes um, that's just extra stress just a little bit is good and then sometimes you got to be a little bit rough about it I'm just gonna kind of push it in right there okay now I've got a couple of more holes that I need to fill around that plant that I made when I put it in and it doesn't need a whole lot of dirt if it's a real good rock wall plant it's not going to need a whole lot of dirt to cling on to uh, but we do want to kind of give it as much as we can to give it a head start because I'm assuming when the rains come that it's going to wash away some of this soil and I definitely don't want all of it going but the more that the roots can grab onto the less soil will go away uh, be washed away and so then uh, the bigger and happier this plant can be so I'm putting some on top now just as a protective layer over the roots that were exposed on top 
and then I don't know if you can tell but it's kind of getting dark here and so um, the rain is definitely coming I'm not even gonna water this because the rain is gonna be here in just a few minutes it might even start on me as I'm filming this video okay so here we go now I just I don't think that there's anything much prettier than having a rock wall with a a trailing flower coming out of it and and kind of cascading down and so let me show you something that I planted last year and is doing really wonderfully now it's it's spring and it's early spring so it's not blooming yet but it is definitely um, greening up and it's looking abundant and beautiful okay so here's a plant that I put in last year and uh, this is you can see this is the growth from last year and I'm gonna come along and I'm gonna prune that off very soon uh, but this is just kind of coming out of the rock and I just think that's so beautiful I mean it's a really nice effect some something else that I like to do is when I'm in the garden sometimes I like to plant with yarrow a lot in my annual beds because uh, it's a really good perennial to have that kind of confuse, confuses the pests. And so when that spreads, I take out the extra that I don't need and I just, <laughs> I just shove it into the rock wall. And so you can see, here is some more, here's my yarrow coming out of the rock wall and I just, I just think that's so beautiful. And here is, Here's one of my trailing plants that I planted last year. I forget exactly what the name of this is. I know I planted Creeping Thyme and I cr planted uh, Snow in Summer. Um, so I'm not exactly sure which one this is yet. When it flowers, I'll, I'll know better. But um, you just kind of peel away the old stuff as it, as it browns up. And it just looks so beautiful. So, Something else that I really like to put into the rock wall is hen and chicks. Okay, so here is a spot where there's a brand new yarrow baby plant, and then there's a hen and chicks right next to it, and I just think that that's adorable. And so these hen and chicks are really good and, um, at going into places that might be too small or might just have a little tiny bit of dirt in your rock wall uh, that a, a big plant might not be able to go into. And so here's another one, and I just got one plant one pot of them and there was a bunch of them in there and I separated them and I stuck them everywhere. And so you can kind of see, I like to put things in, but um, here's an example of something that I tried last year and it didn't work. Okay, so something that you need to think about though, when you are planting into a rock wall is sometimes the plants won't take. And so normally my rule is I plant twice as many plants that I would want to have growing in my wall, maybe even three times as many um, than, uh, than I really want to have growing because probably only a third to half are going to make it. Uh, and that's just because uh, either that crevasse, the rain flows so much through it that it washes away all the dirt or um, maybe behind that, that hole that you're trying to put your, your flower or whatever into, um, there's just too much of a space and so the roots become um, exposed to the air too much and it doesn't do well. Or maybe because of a, a rock overhanging that one, there's too much shade or maybe there's too much sun or uh, it's a much, difficult, much more difficult medium to plant into than just like a regular garden. And so the rate of failure is going to be higher than it would have been if you were just planting into the lawn or into the garden or something like that. So uh, plant hardy things that trail and crawl and plant things that don't take a lot of soil and you'll be able to have success but also plant prolifically so that when there is not success there's still success in other places so plant more than you need and you will definitely have the amount that you want survive okay so that's my tutorial on how to plant into a rock wall that's already existing uh, and a few different ideas of plants that you might be able to put in if you are interested. Uh, I have a specific color scheme that I'm going with, so those are the plants that I decided on. And then also, if you like the video, please hit the like button and then consider subscribing to my channel. 
There will be a ton of new content coming out throughout this whole year and beyond as we go through tutorials and how-tos on mini garden things, food forest things, medicinal herb gardens, and then also beekeeping now and keeping chickens and livestock and stuff like that. So there's going to be a lot of variety and a lot of fun happening. Uh, and if you already like the channel and you've subscribed to it already, go ahead and hit that notification bell so that you can be alerted when new videos come out as they come out uh, many times throughout the week. Have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching and stay blessed. Thank you.